What started as a tribal dispute has erupted into full-blown warfare. With communities around the Porgeta gold mine decimated in the wake of renewed violence, as many as 20 to 50 people have died, many more have been displaced as warring tribes attacked each other with high-powered guns. Children are suffering, women are suffering, disabled people are suffering, old people are suffering. A state of emergency has been declared and Police Commissioner David Manning said lethal force would be used as more security forces arrive. Put simply, this means if you raise a weapon in a public place or to threaten another person, you will be shot. Local MP Don Pollier says this recent spate of violence is being exacerbated by the spread of high-powered weapons. What I've seen in the Enga province is a style of tribal fighting that involves a lot of modern weaponry and modern technology. There is an end uh, killing very easily, destruction of property very easily. He's echoing other calls for Australia to intervene. An exceptional circumstance in which the Queensland police or any other foreign police uh, do not come in to take the lead. The Port Gedda gold mine is about 600 kilometres northwest of the capital, Port Moresby. As one of the world's top 10 producing gold deposits, people from surrounding areas have come to the area in search of the precious metal. Many say illegal mining is to blame for the fighting, but local resident and human rights activist Cressida Koala says the issue is more complicated. I don't like the term illegal mining. People have lived there and they have worked on alluvial mining and they know what is gold and they have been surviving from sales from gold. Pogeta has also long been a place of contention. First opened in 1989, the mine once accounted for more than 10% of PNG's export earnings. But recurrent flare-ups of tribal violence and a drawn-out government takeover have slowed production in recent years. Royalties paid to landowners stopped during the pandemic. Economic problems, we have been driven to poverty. We have been shortages of uh, medical supplies. They died of hunger. Inga province itself has been the epicentre of tribal warfare in recent years, with hundreds of people killed and widespread destruction. Despite an increased military and police presence, the core issues like economic inequality fueling the violence remain unaddressed. I'm totally, totally disturbed. The children, they don't know what is happening. They are just flowing in the direction where the adults are going and some are killed. Some they drowned in the rivers, some are lost in the jungles. They broke their legs, arms, because they wanted to flee from, for safety.